to quickly apologize for the annoying dishwasher background noise. I stupidly put the dishwasher on and forgot that I still had more video to film, but anyway. Today I am showing you a really good and easy friendship bracelet that is perfect for beginners. And the reason I'm holding it so awkwardly is because the glue is still wet on the back and I need to shift this focus. So like I say, it is a perfect friendship bracelet for those of you who are new to bracelet making. I show you how to attach a button, I tell you how to start, and it ties in very well with Thursday's video, which was the four basic friendship bracelet knots that you need to know. Although for this, you only need to know two of them. So like I said, absolutely perfect for beginners. If you are enjoying this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, I post two videos a week, and to hit that thumbs up button so I know that you like it. And with all that being said, you didn't click on this video to watch me waffle on, let's just get on with the tutorial, shall we? Okay, so to start out this super easy bracelet, perfect for beginners, which is what we like, but a little fancier than your average chevron. So we're gonna start out with two colors. I've done each string to be a meter long, that's probably too long, but you know, it's so much easier than trying to attach more. And how I'm laying it out is yellow, brown, brown, yellow, yellow, brown, brown, yellow. And let's try and get this more central. There we go. Okay, dokie. So I know the pattern it uses um, white and orange. So for me, the yellow is the white and the brown is the orange. Does that make sense? If that confused you, ignore me and just look at what I'm doing. So we're going to start out by doing the first row. Well, how I started my bracelet, I suppose I should say, is I cut two meters of each string. So for example, this is all one string. And then I folded it in half and tied it in a knot and made sure my button can fit through because I like having button fastenings on my bracelets. So to start with, we are going to take this brown thread, which is the second one in, and we are going to tie a backwards knot over the yellow. Please familiarize yourself with the knots. Um, I did a tutorial for it on Thursday, so be sure to check that out. And then we are going to be taking the yellow, this, this yellow here, and we're going to be tying a backwards knot over the brown. Let's move this thread out of the way. So backwards knot over the brown. Just like so. So now it says brown, brown, uh, brown, yellow, yellow, brown. Yes, good. So now we're taking the next yellow and we're doing a forwards knot over the brown next to it. And then we're taking this brown thread and doing a forwards knot over the yellow. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. So now, it always gets a bit jagged in the first couple of rounds, or first couple of rows. So now you've got brown, yellow, yellow, brown, brown, yellow, yellow, brown. Yes? Good. So we are going to take our two yellow threads here, so we're ignoring this brown thread. We're taking our two yellow threads and we're tying them together in a forwards knot. Or whichever knot you feel most comfortable in, it ultimately doesn't matter. And then we're going to knot our two brown threads together. I'm also going to use a forwards knot. Then we're going to take our two yellow threads and knot them together and once again I will be using a forwards knot. And that's row two done. So our threads are ultimately in the same order that they were before so I'm not going to bother listing them for you. So now I'm going to take my brown thread here and I'm going to tie in a forwards knot over this yellow. Then I'm going to take this yellow thread and knot it over the brown. And I know these aren't the most visually appealing of colors, but it's good for high contrast, so you can see the pattern as it grows. So then I'm going to take this yellow here and tie it in a backwards knot over the brown. And then I'm going to take this brown and tie it in a backwards knot over this yellow. So we can already see a diamond taking shape, which is very exciting. So now we're going to finish off this pattern repeat, I told you it's easy, by knotting the two brown together. And then the two yellow. And 
and then the two brown. And then we simply go back to the start of the pattern and do that all over again. Okay, so I'm just going to talk you through the pattern for one more round. So we're going to take this second brown thread and knot it in a backwards knot over the first yellow thread. Then we are going to take the, well, the first inside yellow thread and knot it in a backwards knot over the brown. Then we're going to take this inside yellow thread and tie it in a forwards knot over the brown. And then we are going to take the next brown thread, which is this one, and tie it in a forwards knot over the yellow. And remember that you tie each knot twice, I'm sure you're aware of this. So now we are going to move these two threads to the sides because we don't need them this round. I'm going to take these two yellow threads and knot them together. Once again, either forwards or backwards knot, whichever you feel most comfortable with. And same with the middle two, knot them together. And then once again, same with the other two yellow, so you're just knotting them together. So now we are going on to the third row, so we are going to knot the brown over the yellow. And then we are going to knot the yellow over the brown in a forwards knot. Move them to the side. And then in our next pairing we're going to knot this yellow over the brown in a backwards knot. And then finally we are going to knot this brown in a backwards knot over the yellow. So like so. So then we are going to finish off this repeat by moving the two yellows to the side because we don't need them in this round. And then we are going to knot the two brown together. Sorry that the focus is a bit off, there's only so much I can do with this camera and its focus. Then we're going to knot the two yellow together. And then we're going to knot the two brown together. So then you just need to keep repeating these steps until your bracelet is long enough to fit around your wrist. And then I will, show, I will be back to show you how you attach your button fastening. I'm just going to quickly apologize for all of the noise. Um, I need to get this video filmed today. The cathedral bells are going berserk and I stupidly put the dishwasher on without thinking that I need to film this bit of the video. Anyway, so I keep kept knotting as sh I showed you. And now I'm ready to attach the button. I've got my fabric glue ready, I've got my button ready. And then I'm using a piece of thread to thread this because I find it easier than um, trying to find a needle that's thick enough for this, but thin enough for this, you know? Okay, so this button's going to be going here. So, I need to pull the thread up first, up through the bottom of there, and then pick up a couple of threads, probably the very outside ones and just thread them through the loop of your thread and then pull that one through like if you can find a needle you go for it I just don't I just know that I don't have one that will be able that I will be able to thread with two embroidery threads and will also go through the button hole so then I'm going to go up through the other side with my loop and loop it through. I hope I'm explaining this well, probably not. I'm just attaching a button. Like, use whatever technique works for you. You know? And pull those ends through. 
like that. Now I'm going to take the other two outside threads and I'm going to repeat that for the other two holes. If you only have two holes in your button, then you're already done, but I don't. So. So not professional. Okay, okay. And then we're pulling the other end through of the thread. And pull that through. Bloop. Like that. And now I'm gonna scoot it down a little bit because I made it a little short, um, which is my fault. And then all I'm going to do is tie an overhand knot with all of these threads on the back. Make sure it's nice and tight up next to the button. Like so, and then trim off the excess threads as close as you can, unless you don't have fabric glue. If you don't have fabric glue, don't do that um, because your knot will come undone, but I have fabric glue. So then I'm going to liberally apply fabric glue all over the knot and then leave it to dry before I wear it. And don't worry if you get any on the button itself, this, or the fabric glue that I use anyway, I I'm imagining all fabric glue is the same, it's designed to stick to fabric, so um, you can just peel it off the button. And then, yeah, just leave it till it's dry, and then it's ready to wear. So, that is honestly how easy it is, it's super simple, and I hope that your bracelets look as lovely as mine. I know it's not like the most ideal colour combination, with the yellow and the brown, but I, I'm liking it at the minute and I don't know why. Because usually I'm like a bright colour person, but whatever. whatever. If you did enjoy this tutorial, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. I post two videos a week, every other Thursday I post a podcast and then the Thursdays in between I post whatever video fancy posting. And this past Thursday it was a friendship bracelet basics tutorial where I teach you the four basic knots because I realised in the three years that I have had my YouTube channel, I haven't actually shown you how to do that, which is really stupid on my part, but anyway. And then on every Sunday, you get some form of craft tutorial. So feel free to hit subscribe if that sounds like something you are interested in. If you do happen to recreate anything using one of my tutorials, I would like to see a picture of it. So feel free to post a picture on social media using the hashtag, the corner of craft. That way I can see it for myself, see how talented you are and see what amazing color combinations you have come up with for your super easy bracelet. I've tried a new way of styling my hair because I have short hair for the first time in a very long time and I don't know if I like it. What is this bump? I need to sort it out. Mm, I'm unsure, might take it out after this video. Just try to do something different but uh, apparently I don't know how to style short hair. Oh well. Links to all of my social media can be found in the description box below as well as a link to the original pattern. And with all that being said, thank you so much once again for watching and I shall see you very soon in Thursday's podcast. Bye.